So then we know the power of LinkedIn nowadays. It's a very professional networking place. Uh, that's how we met. And now we are doing this uh, conversation. But for some people still having on LinkedIn or searching for a job on LinkedIn, is still foreign for them. Do you have any tips how to use LinkedIn uh, for job seekers? Yeah, absolutely. And there are two sides to this for me. There's one, realizing it's a tool. And therefore, as a tool, there are rules behind it. And that's the simple things. That's the keyword searches. That's the thinking about the fact that um, all um, all HRSs or ATSs, um, yep. they're, they're using AI to, AI to predict the quality of candidates. So read the job description and make sure that if you're going for a job, the keywords in the job are on your LinkedIn. Yes. Everybody thinks about it for their resume, but not a lot of people think about it for their LinkedIn. So yeah. that for me is the absolute basic. That's, you know, laying the foundations. Yeah. The second part though is if a if a machine finds it, a human will view it. Mm -hmm. So let your personality come out. Mm -hmm. There's this there's still this hangover from 80s, 90s where you know, you, you walk into work and you leave your feelings at the door, you throw on a, a suit, um, and you present this professional self. Well, as the guy that turned up in a pink hoodie to talk about this in a position that, you know, is relatively senior, yeah. um, I wish more people would be their true selves at work. Yeah. Because the second that the the human stops separating themselves and it's the same person that walks from the outside of the door to the inside of the building, yeah. that's when people do their best work. Yeah. So if anyone, you know, agrees on that, then do that on your LinkedIn profile. Let a little bit of the human show through, you know, mm -hmm. show some excitement, show some passion, show some vulnerability, show some real. Because yeah. the more you throw in a little bit about yourself in there, mm -hmm. and this can be in that bio section, um, it can yeah. be in the tagline at the top. Like my tagline doesn't say that I'm a VP of people. My tagline talks about creating opportunity uh, for people from all walks of life, because that's what gets me fired up. Yeah. So if you think, would somebody start a conversation with me mm -hmm. from my tagline? Yeah. I think you're on the right path. Yeah. Because I don't really want to be in conversations with people that start conversations with me about my job title. Yeah. Because my job title is the seat I sit in. How yeah. I do it is who I am as a human. Yeah. So put a little bit of yourself in there. Talk about what it is. Like highlight the piece you're passionate about. Yeah. And then when you actually get into the body of your LinkedIn profile, Show some tangibles. Yes. If, you're, if your LinkedIn profile reads like a job description, then you're not telling us if you're any good at it. Yeah. And this is the key. Uh, most people, 90% of people are going to tell you what they do. Yeah. Very few people tell you how well they do it. One of my favorite things that I see in resumes is when somebody, um, or LinkedIn as well, is when somebody highlights something such as a moment of impact, key mm -hmm. achievement, um, like game changes, like I don't yeah. really mind how you phrase it, but I, I would love to see, and I think yeah. more people are going to get more value out of these profiles when you actually show what it was that you think was incredible in your last job or in your current job. Because two things, that highlights your thought process mm -hmm. and it highlights what you did in a way that I can look at that and say, I want that in our company. Yeah, Because the mo we don't hire results we hire the minds that create right. results. Yeah. And therefore, it's the thought process that matters the most. Yeah. And as a hiring manager yourself, so if you see a resume that you like, do you check them on LinkedIn? And what are the things you see on LinkedIn? Or what are the things you, you, you check on LinkedIn? Look, I may have moved into the greater people sphere, but I'm a recruiter at heart. So yeah, yeah I, I'm like every other recruiter. Immediately the name goes into Google. I check out the LinkedIn. I check out anything else I can see. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very good for job seekers to understand that because while I'm never going to write somebody off for something which I see on the internet because I, I don't think that's the practice that I believe in, yeah. I am going to get interested. Yeah. Uh, so the way that you present yourself online, the way that you present yourself in any of these mediums, um, yeah. is uh, is highly important, particularly when you're in that job search stage, mm -hmm. because it's it's all one Google search away. Yes. So yeah, I'm going to look at every and again, I look at all these different places because I want to see what the bigger picture is. Yes. It's I the always, same thing. Yeah, I always tell my clients, Google yourself to see what what's out there. You know, you never exactly. know what surprises you may find. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, again, I don't ever want to just see 
um, the canned image that somebody wants to present. It's why you have six conversations with somebody, not one, because you want to see what the consistent is or the consistency is between all those. It's the exact same thing with the resume to the LinkedIn to the Google presence. Yeah. Thank you for that, Dan. And again, for the audience, if you have any other tips in regards to LinkedIn, please leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question with Dan. Thank you.